Well, it was the third day of the Santos Tour Down Under today. It was sponsored by bikeexchange.com.au. It took the riders away from Unley, which wasn't too far from the headquarters hotel in Adelaide, 139 kilometres out to the finish in Stirling. It was all about the finishing circuit, really, on a very, very hot day, the hottest day so far. We got off to a cracking start on the freeway, Paul. 23 riders getting clear as we went up towards the only climb of the day, the Eagle on the Hill. Yeah, and that's when Jack Bobrich, local lad from Adelaide, decided he wanted to get himself some points for the Skoda King of the Mountains. Went across the line there in first place ahead of the South African, Daryl Impey. But once that was done, a two-man group formed off the front. Yes, they were both called Clark. They were unrelated. They weren't even on the same teams, but they were certainly from Australia. That was Will Clark and Simon Clark. They combined well together. They got a lead of over three and a half minutes at one stage. But once we started going around the circuit five and three quarter times here in Sterling, the peloton were always going to catch them. They were under the escort of the Sky Team for much of the way, but then a flurry of attack started with one and a half laps to go, and a new forward group, as they caught them at the bell, became eight riders at the front for a while look good it certainly did one of the strongest riders in that group was the Costa Rican rider the first Costa Rican ever to win a stage in the Giro d'Italia Andre Amador he was very keen to try and get off the front because he started the day only a minute and 19 seconds behind but the main field under the power of Team Sky slowly but surely dragged them back together they were all nailed back as they went down to Olgate and then the long climb up to the finish in Sterling and it was here where the riders started to attack as individuals. And one attack that looked certain to succeed was that of Tiago Machado. But he was swept up and it came down to a sprint. And now we have a new name to talk about because in that sprint, a young 23-year-old Dutchman getting his first professional win won by one second. Tom Slachter getting ahead of Matt Goss, the former winner of Milan San Remo, and in third place, the world champion, Philippe Gilbert. He won the stage, but overall, there's no change. It's Geraint Thomas who still holds the Oka jersey.